Right now I'm really sick, but the maths must go. A cold sweat and all kind of thing out here, waiting for this pill to kick in. So this was 2017 question 9, this is the relations, functions and graphs question. Use the graph to solve the equation. So you have a little graph there and you need to use it to solve that equation x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to oh. So when the equation is equal to 0, if we look back at the graph, this is equal to 0 right here at these two points. So you're using the graph, right? So boom and bim. Those are the roots. Remember the roots? So those are the roots. So that's very simple. So right here we're going to write um, x equal a. Do you remember them numbers? What's them numbers? x equal 2 and x equal 4. So solved. Right now the coordinates have the minimum point in the form x, y. Alright, so let's look back at the graph and see if we see oh there's our minimum point. The minimum point is the lowest point on the graph. There you are. So minimum point, what is your address? He has three on the x and that has to be negative one, right? Because this is negative two, so that's negative one there. Hey, I'm gonna get it right, negative one, negative one. So three negative one. Alright, so you call the x axis x coordinate first, so that's 3, negative 1. So easy, you're collecting marks in this paper. What's next? What's next? Part 3, right? x squared minus 6, x plus 8 in the form a into x plus h to be squared plus k, where a, h, and k are constants. So, so you want to complete the square. This is what we were doing in the last video. If I'm here and I kind of shovel it, now it's a gradual shovel it in some gravel day. 10 o'clock in the night he shoveling gravel. I don't know why these things just happen now, my way. Anyhow, and I had to keep the window open because I tried to breathe now. Right, so now you complete this square now. So you can actually go about completing this square. Now, there's another way to do it and I'll show you. But let's complete this square because we just love to complete this square out here. Alright, so we're probably a x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now, half of this number squared. Well, half of that number squared is negative 3 squared, that is positive 9. Take it back out, take away 9. And half of that, half of that looking like what boy? 3 to be squared, take away 1. And there's a 1 on the outside here. Line up with equal signs. So that's how it goes. So I kind of breeze through that. If you want a little more description and that, look back at the previous video. Let's do the other method. We'll do three methods. The next method is the formula method where h is equal to b over 2a and k is equal to c minus b squared and 4a. So if I substitute values, b on 2a is negative 6 on 2 by 1 is 2. So this is negative 3 and k would have been c which is 8 take away b squared b squared is who 6 squared 36 negative 6 squared is same 36 over 4a that's not 49 that is 4a all right and kind of crazy 4a 4 is 1 so 4 could go into 36 how much times why 9 times so that's a take away 9 which is 1 so you can see and I don't need to write it over right you can see this would have gone there that's my k and this goes here that's my h so if you use the formula method you know get through this as well now I did mention that there's another way you could have do this why this man shuffling this gravel boy hey he's me up on that gravel in a I record in max. So I did mention that there's another way you could have done this question and this way that would have been the best way actually. Let me just get out all these strokes here. Alright, that's good enough. So the best way you could have done this question was to actually realize that the minimum point, right? The minimum point is negative h k. So we talked about this in the last video, but the minimum point in a quadratic 
always lines up to be negative each key when you have the completing the square form here. So if the minimum point is negative each key and the minimum point is negative 3, the minimum point by shocks the minimum point is 3, negative 1. Then all I can do is say using graph, this is really a which is a we know a is 1 from the original equation x minus 3. Now remember I'm using negative 3 here because we want negative 8 so we want the negative version of that and k which is 1. Alright so this was the quickest easiest way to do it just use the graph and use your knowledge that the minimum point represents negative h key in this form. So the next part of the question asks us for the same axis, draw the graph of the straight line g of x is equal to x minus 2. Part 4 asks us to draw a straight line on the graph, right? So we're going to draw a straight line on the graph. The line is g of x is equal to x minus 2. In other words, y is equal to x minus 2. All we need to do is put in some sample points. Let's say if we put in x was 0, y would be negative 2. So that's a point on the line. Um... When x is 2, or well, let's try it for when x is 4, y would be 2. All right. So I got these points by substituting them into the equation of the line. So I hope you catch the hang of that. Next up, I'll connect these points and draw a sweet little line through them points there. Bam. And we'll call that line. Well, you can let that line go all along, eh? But you'll call that line not y. I think it was g of x is equal to x minus 2, right? So that's the line g of x is equal to x minus 2, remember? Remember, to plot this line, we just use values of x, substitute it in. Let me, let me use 0, I think, was the first one. And we got 0 take away 2. So this corresponds to negative 2. So we're able to plot the first point and we did the same thing for the second point. Way, sir. Well, it is used for cool and so true, don't think, way. Alright, so let me see what next they're asking us to do. So we just do this, we went and draw with a line there. I feel they were asked with a sum this now. And sum the equation x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal. So this is the quadratic, this is the equation of the line. I think they gave something like this in January of this year too. So to solve that, you just need to find where the points of intersection are. That's right here, right there. So we're solving that, so we just want the, the actually coordinates for. So if we just solve an equation, we just need the x values. So the x values at those points of intersection are 2 and 5 from the graph, right? Lines up to 5 and this one lines up to 2. So you'd see from, from graph, points of intersection, x equal 2 and x equal and x equal 5. Collect it to max, and roll out. So, today is SE. Anybody have any family members doing SE? Remember to protect their self esteem and mental health as they go into this exam. A reminder keep them relaxed and don't let your anxiety rub off on them. Blessings.